Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about table extension. So we already know about why extension is necessary, what is extension, and specifically in this video, we will talk about table extension. So let's start understanding what is table extension. Before going to the practical implementation, how we can create table extension and uh, everything, if you are watching this particular video directly then for you i want to explain few things okay so let me explain the first point that development for financial operation apps is extension based and does not allow customizing base code and elements this method of development for financial operation app allows developer to modify the application behavior and elements in less intrusive manner. This approach enables organizations to continuously update the application with lower cost and minimum code errors. Okay. The second point here I want to discuss that an element in application object tree can be extended and added to your project if you are referencing the uh, model that contains the original element. If you are if you'll right click on the element in the EOT and you, you can select the create extension for any particular element for example table or forms. The extended element will be added to your project and uh, can be customized by using the designer window. So you already know about what is designer window. With extension you can modify existing element and you can extend source code by using the class augmentation. That means a chain of command. There is an event. There is an event handler. So you can use those for writing your uh, code for modifying the code. Table and form have many components, and they can be extended to add elements such as you can add fields or you can add data source or to add methods or event handlers. Class extension augments a class by adding methods and variable to an existing form all right now let's move to the practical example so to create an extension of a table so here you have to go to the uh, application explorer or you have to open the aot and from here you have to select a particular table uh, for which you want to create the extension so here i'll create the extension for the cast table so for that you have to search the cast table or from the table node you can also see that particular table okay now you can see that various types of elements are there and you can see there is a cast table so if you want to create the extension so what you have to do just you have to right click on the cast table and you can see already we have a project and in this project we cannot create the extension it is talking about the create extension in a new project we are interested creating the extension in this particular project itself because we already have created the project so you can see that it is in the gray color that means it is disabled so for that to enable this particular extension facility what you have to do you have to check the application so it is mentioned over here so you have to change the uh, project model parameter so you can see that you have to click on the extension after that dynamics 365 and there is a model management and you can see that update model parameter is there okay so you have to click on this and from here you have to select your model here fleet management so just type here fleet management you can select it from here and then after that you just click next and you can see it is present in the is failure and from here you have to select the application suit so it is not selected that's why we will not be able to uh, create the extension in this particular project we will update the uh, model parameter and if will select the associated uh, items or libraries which is associated the application uh, suit so we have to select that and after that we have to click on the next okay and it will update so you have to again click the next and it will take some time and it will update your parameter now you can see that uh, our model parameter updated now if you click now at this point of time you can see that it is now enabled now you can click the 
create extension so if you'll click the create extension one extension will be added in your project so our uh, project you can see that extension added in our project and now you can see that cast table dot fleet management so whatever the model will be there the model name will be added after the table name so i will not do anything here okay but if you'll we'll open it in the designer section you can see that it's have same uh, node which is present in the cast table which is uh, actually the base table here so we have created the extension and now if you we'll go to the field section now you can see all the fields which is available that is in the gray color that is will not be able to edit all the properties for this particular edt okay so if we'll go to the little bit above for uh, if we'll expand expand it little bit so you can see that few fields are disabled and few are enabled so we have to select for a string field you can see that you can change the extended data type for a particular field which is available also asset classifications also you can change you can change the label you can change the help text you can change the group prompt okay also it is visible or disable you can not change you can also change that one also okay so it means few thing is enabled for the fields which is already present but everything you cannot edit also you can change the country region code the most important point here uh, in this case of field you can see that you can change the extended data type from here so if you want to create uh, one data type and if you want to extend from the base data type and if you want to use that extended data type in this particular field you can use that one okay so it is very much important and if you want to add a new field is this possible yes it is possible you can see that you can add your new field with this particular uh, data types right if you want to add a new edt and if you want to drag and drop in this field that is also possible right so field is modification is possible also if you if you'll see here and if you'll click here over here you can see that i can change the level of particular field group so if i want to change or add a uh, particular new group in this particular extension uh, that is also possible right so you can add the new field group also if you want to change the if you want to add uh, the new index that is also possible and if you want to add one field in this particular index which is already present you cannot add or you can cannot drag and drop another field which is present so first let me add my own field here then i'll show you that how we can drag and drop so now let me add two custom field in this uh, in this extended table so i'll do that so for that i'll do edt and then i'll add them in uh, in this particular field okay now as you can see that we can modify existing field in a table through extension number second point we can add fields to table through extension uh, new fields okay also we can add new indexes to table through extension also we can add relation also we can modify the table properties we can also add methods to table through extension we can add methods uh, or code in three different way we can use number one chain of command we can use event or you can use event handler in the table extension so i'll show you each and every point slowly in this video tutorial series i already discussed about this first point that you can modify existing field in a table through extension so you cannot edit all the properties of a field which is already existing but you can edit few properties that i have already shown okay now we'll focus on this particular point that you can add field to table through extension so now we'll focus to this particular point and slowly we'll see uh, all this point we whatever is present here okay so first we have to identify what fields or what edt why we want to add in our fields so for example purpose i'll 
add only two fields in this particular uh, table okay so first one is customer rating and second one is customer preferred language okay so as you can see that we have a custom field customer rating so first we have to create not extension we have to create the edt so first we have to right click and then we will add new then i have to go to this particular data data types and after that we will select the string here and we will give the name as customer rating over here and before that if you are working for ansari private limited then give the suffix as ansari and then you can add okay and you can see that this one added and now we'll add one more field okay so the name of the field is actually preferred language and then we'll create edt for example you have to add again right click on the project add then click on the new item then data model again string and again you have to write answer e and then give the name of the edt over here preferred language and remove the space in between it and then add now you can see that our answer e preferred language is actually added in our project so from here you can see that two extra edt which we have created uh, we can add it in our table extension so i'll do that so first you have to select the edt and directly you can drag and drop over here so if you'll drag and drop you can see that this two a uh, field added in our field section and you can easily differentiate from the base field which is already available and you can uh, see it it is in the board font so this is how you can add uh, extra field if you want to add it in your extension okay now if you want to create a new field group so that is also possible so how i'll do that so is it possible to add one particular field which i, I have created in this particular field group so let me try to drag and drop okay so I'll just copy it okay and i'll paste it over here so you can see that this is also possible so you can add one particular uh, edt in your field group which is already present and also you can if you want to create one another field group that is also possible so you just click over here and you can see that field group is there so here you can uh, add custom field group okay so you can give the name and you can also give the label okay so it is always prefer that you use the label file to give the label and if you want to add the field over here so i'll do that you have to copy the fields so let me copy our custom field from here so you have to select that and what you have to do you have to just paste over here okay so if you paste over here you can see that you can add your fields in the custom field group so this is how you can use field group or you can add the field group so and if you want to create one extension you can also do that uh, if you click new index you can also uh, do this way and if you want to drag and drop your custom field for example just copy over here and if you will paste over here you can add so for that you have to select the properties you have to modify the properties of that this particular uh, index and this way you can add okay uh, if i hope you already know how you can use this particular index in your table so this in this video my agenda is how you can use or how you can add a new index so it is possible to copy and paste one particular field uh, in this particular party id or in this particular uh, invoice account index so let me try is this possible or not so if you'll copy it and if you'll try to paste over here so this is not possible so you cannot add one particular uh, field in this particular uh, index which is already present so you can try one more time to confirm so if we'll try to paste over here that is actually not possible so if we'll drag and drop 
so let me drag and drop from this section okay so we'll drag and drop that is also not possible so you cannot add fill but you can create a new index on the table and there you can uh, add your fill okay and like this one if you want to create the full index and if you right click you can create the full index full text index if you want to add the relation that is also possible so you have to right click you can create the relation or you can also add the foreign key relation so if you click uh, relation so you can see that you have to set up all the properties related to this particular relation okay in the same way if you want to add a delete action is this possible so this is not possible as you can see that we cannot add the delete action over here right also if you'll try to add the state machine that is also not possible if you want to create the mapping that is possible so you can add new mapping over here also if you want to add method you, know, you cannot add the method over here okay so if you'll right click on the method you can see there is no new method you can create and if you want to if you want to create the event handler so you can create pre event handler and post event handler and also there is an event so if you want to uh, add the event on particular on deleting event so you can also copy that event and you can use that one in your extended table okay i hope you understood that how we can edit our base table through the extension and what type of elements uh, we can add okay now in the next video we'll talk about how we can write the code for this particular cast table using the coc using event or using event handler so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one and there i'll show you how you can utilize this particular fields in your code and how you can extend the facilities of the methods how you can write the code for your method which is already present in the in this table so basically you cannot add the method by right clicking on it right so i'll i already have shown that but how what is the possibilities that we can write our code so we'll discuss all these things in a separate video so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye have a nice day